So I was just chilling on Scratch one day when I stumbled upon this fishing game. And I was like, huh, you know what? This would be pretty cool if it was just chill and cozy and not so intense. So guess what? In today's video, we're going to be making a comfy little fishing game. So I hopped into the editor as usual, deleted Scratch Cat, and created our first sprite. Instead of a boat, I was thinking of like a fishing dock. And after crafting that, I created this little square dude. Next, I gave him a fishing pole and animated it so it looked like he's casting a rod. And it wouldn't be a fishing game without water, and after spending hours on a blue rectangle, we have little waves. We also need some fish though, and I honestly wasn't sure on how to animate a fish line, so it just looks like the fish is levitating towards the rod. And after you click again, the fish gets collected in this bucket thing. And that's it for now, but pay attention to this bucket, he comes back later. Oh yeah, and if you didn't notice already, I did add a backdrop, and for fun, I put a little hazy white gradient. Okay, so this is what we have so far, basically just the core mechanics, but we're not even close to being done. We still have to add the other fishes, other rods, the thing, the other thing, the bucket, yeah. There's a lot to do. Next, I crafted six other fishes. Red, blue, brown, green, and the most rare of them all, gold. And then I tried to make a starfish, but um... Yeah, well, um, and then I crafted one other collectible, but I can't reveal to you which one that one is quite yet. Uh, but just for your information, I did fix the starfish, so he's looking a little more normal, I think. <gasps> it took me a little while, but I was able to code the rarity system for the fishes. You know, like, common fishes spawn more than rare ones. So, uh, just another quick full screen update, this is what the game currently looks like. I also wanted the player to be able to upgrade their rod, but instead of buying a new one like you normally would in other fishing simulators, to make this game as chill as possible, you automatically get an upgrade when you're fishing for a certain number of times. Basically, the more you fish, the better your rod. Pretty simple. Yeah, but do you remember Bucket from earlier? Now we're going to use him to create a pop-up screen where you'll be able to view the fish that you've currently caught. The only problem is... So yeah, all the sprites are just kind of glitching at the top of the screen. Very nice. Um, but the best part is, I spent 30 minutes fixing this one bug, only to realize that it was just a misplaced block. <sighs> well, at least we got it to work now. So after finishing that screen, after like one hour, if you click on the bucket, you can now see what fish you currently collected and how many of that fish you have. Also, I figured that some users would mistake the bucket for decoration, so I quickly made a pop-up arrow that tells the user to click on it after a certain time period. The last final touch was a little message narrating the game events, and also giving the user a little heads up if they don't know what's going on. And that is a wrap to today's game, just kinda wanted to make something a little more mellow and chill since some of my other games have been a little more intense to say the least. Um, I know it's just a 4 minute video, but seriously, this took way too long, and though I enjoyed making it, I need to know whether or not you like this type of content, because I'd rather not waste my time on a video no one wants. So go ahead and like or subscribe if you enjoyed this, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.